Peace tech lovers, I'm Zatona, welcome to my tech zone. Today we are diving into a hot debate, laptop versus mini PC. And the question is, which one should you buy? I'll give you five solid reasons, compare real products, and by the end, I will crown one winner. So stay tuned, as this will help you make a smarter choice. So without any further ado, let's get started. When it comes to portability, laptops clearly have the edge. They are lightweight, all-in-one devices ideal for students, remote workers, and anyone who needs to move frequently. A student can easily carry a laptop from a class to a cafe, while a remote worker might find a mini PC too cumbersome with the extra gear it requires, like a monitor and a keyboard. On the other hand, many PCs are great for users who work at a fixed desk and want more power for less money. While many PCs like the Intel Nook series or Apple Mac Mini are compact, they still need a monitor, keyboard, and power source. You can move them still, but not like a laptop. So if you are always on the go, a laptop is the smarter, more convenient choice. Now let's talk performance. Many PCs are redefining what compact computing can deliver. Flagship models like the Com Mini IT13, Asus ROG NUC, and Intel NUC 14 Extreme now come equipped with Intel's latest 14th Gen Core i9 or AMD Ryzen 9 7945HX processors, DDR5 RAM, and the support for PCIe Gen 4 and even Gen 5 SSDs. These specs put them on par with many full-size desktops, making them ideal for 4K video editing, game development, AI model testing, and intensive multitasking. Their stationary setup means they benefit from consistent power delivery and active cooling, avoiding thermal throttling under sustained loads. Meanwhile, top-tier laptops like the Dell XPS 15, Asus ROG Zyphus G16, Lenovo Legion 9i, and Apple's MacBook Pro M3 Max pack impressive performance in portable designs. They shine in, optimize workflows, and benefit from excellent displays and battery life. However, they still face physical limitation thermal constraints, power efficiency trade-offs, and battery-based performance scaling often limit their full potential during extended demanding sessions. When it comes to upgradability, many PCs truly shine. Many models are designed with modularity in mind, making upgrades and repairs not just possible, but easy. For example, systems like the Intel NUC 13 Extreme, Asus ROG NUC, and Mini's Forum Elite Mini UM790 Pro allow you to upgrade RAM, SSDs, and in some cases, even desktop-class GPUs or CPU modules. These compact systems are built with accessible internals, making it simple for creators and power users to keep their machine relevant as hardware evolves. Many PCs also support standard components like Sodium RAM and M.2 NVMe drives, so you're not locked into proprietary formats. You can go from 16Gs to 64Gs of RAM or swap in a 4TB Gen 4 SSD in minutes, all without voiding your warranty. On the other hand, laptops are increasingly difficult to upgrade or repair. Many premium models, including the MacBook Pro M2 M3 and Dell XPS series, use soldered RAM and non-removable SSDs, meaning what you buy is what you're stuck with. Gaming laptops like the Lenovo Legion Pro 7i, MSI Titan GT 77HX, and ASUS ROG Strikes Car 17 do allow some room for upgrades, usually RAM and storage. But accessibility can still be a challenge due to compact layouts and proprietary cooling solutions. When it comes to DIY repairs, many PCs also take the lead. Components are easier to source, replace, and service ideal for enthusiasts who want more control without the bulk of a full-size desktop. When it comes to performance per dollar, many PCs are hard to beat. For example, the B-Link Seer 6 Pro and the newer Mini's Forum UM780 XTX offer powerful Ryzen 7 7735HS and Ryzen 7 7840HS processors, integrated RDNA3 graphics, and fast SSD storage 
all under $600-$700. These compact systems deliver multitasking and creative performance that rivals much more expensive laptops, especially in CPU intensive workloads. And then there is the Decom A8, a Ryzen favorite that features AMD Ryzen 9 8945HS, DDR5 RAM and PCIe Gen 4 storage in a tiny chassis, making it an excellent choice for creators, coders, and professionals looking for desktop class performance without the full desktop cost. Now compare that to laptops, while machines like the Asus ZenBook 14 OLED, Dell Inspiron Plus, or MacBook Air M3 offer a balance of power and portability, you're also paying for the built-in screen, battery, trackpad, and keyboard which inflates the overall cost. And let's be honest, if you already have a monitor, mouse, and a keyboard, you're essentially paying twice for peripherals you don't need. Many PCs also offer better thermal management at a lower prices and do not cut corners on ports or upgrade options, which some budget laptops often do. Let's wrap it up with versatility how adaptable these devices are to different lifestyles. Laptops remain the ultimate all-in-one solution. They combine a screen, keyboard, battery, and a touchpad into a single portable device, making them ideal for students, digital nomads, business travelers, and remote workers. Whether you are working from a cafe, attending classes on campus, or editing videos on a plane, Laptops go where you go. Models like the MacBook Air M3, Lenovo Yoga 9i, and Asus ZenBook S13 OLED offer slim, lightweight designs with long battery life and great displays, built in for flexibility on the move. Many PCs, on the other hand, excel in static setups. They are perfect for compact home offices, dedicated streaming rigs, media centers, or even budget-friendly gaming stations. Using integrated RDNA or Intel R graphics, devices like the Minisform UM790 Pro, Gcom Mini IT12, or Intel NUC13 Extreme can power multiple monitors, support full-size keyboard and audio systems, and even handle light 1440p gaming or emulation. However, many PCs require external peripherals, a monitor, keyboard, mouse, and power outlet, so they're best for semi-permanent environments rather than true portability. This one depends on how you live and work, so consider this one a tie. So after five rounds, the score is clear. If portability and mobility are your top priorities, laptops still rule the game. But if you care about raw performance, upgradability, and long-term value, many PCs take the crown. Ultimately, the best choice comes down to your workflow and lifestyle. So ask yourself, are you building a mobile command center or a powerhouse desk setup? So what do you think? Team laptop or team mini PC? Drop your vote in the comments and tell me what tech battle you want to see next. If you enjoyed this breakdown, do not forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you never miss an update from the channel. That's it for today's video. Thanks for watching. I will catch you in the next one. Peace out.